Welcome back everyone. In this video we're go I'm going to show you how to uh, change your header on your cut line theme but I'm more just going to cover some basic stuff here that we've already covered. I mean when we're going to cover here in, in uh, following videos. We've already used simple scripts install a WordPress site. Now uh, you might not have simple scripts on your server. It might be called something else. Uh, there's different types of uh, ways to install WordPress through different servers too, but most of them now are using simple scripts. So we installed WordPress. I uh, got our login information and stuff for the admin side. So um, I logged in and I changed my theme and I showed you about the cut line theme. It's a really cool theme, clean theme. Uh, I use it on a few of my sites. I don't use it all. I'm just here and there when I feel like it did the need is. It's really quick. Uh, like I said, clean and easy to use. Um, in this video, we're going to uh, cover changing the header. The header that we made in the last video with the X header. X header is free and you should already download it now and install it on your computer and already made you a header for your website. And uh, and then the following videos will be called uh, covering installing plugins, and there's a few plugins I'm going to recommend for uh, for the shopping cart, and then f and a lot of other free ones and stuff like for SEO and backups and, and just different things, site maps and stuff. So we'll install plugins, and we'll have to tweak a few of them, and then we'll have to tweak the website like permalinks and comments, pages, just different things. We'll, we'll go in there in categories and stuff, and we'll go ahead and tweak the website a little bit. It doesn't take that much to do. Then we'll start adding products on on some other video. We'll add products, and we'll start uh, showing. I'll we'll show you how to do. Uh, Sizes or colors or whatever your site needs to do. I mean, it's depend on the product you're selling. Shoes, you have to do sizes and shoes, men's shoes, women's shoes, or whatever. So you have to have certain attributes to use. And then we'll we'll cover shipping options. You know, different ways. You know, UPS, free shipping, or whatever. It depends on you and how you want to run your business. And then we'll cover a merchant services. Uh, we're gonna start do WordPress. I mean, uh, PayPal on this WordPress site uh, to collect money. Uh, there's options you can use uh, different uh, merchants and stuff, but you know different options you can have and stuff to, for merchant services. And uh, Google Merchant Account, Merchant Center, uh, signed up for that. Get your Merchant Center set up so you can show up in the Google Shopping results. It used to be called Google Base, and my last course e-commerce gold mine it was called a Google Base, and that's what they call it then. It used to call Base, uh, but now it's called Google Merchant Center. It's where you upload your file, your uh, there's an option in your theme your uh, shopping cart thing, e-commerce theme that you can uh, link to this file off your website and Google uh, adds it to the Google Shopping Network. It doesn't mean you're going to be on the first page of all the results, but it gives you a lot better chance to get traffic and sales, and that's exactly what I do with all my e-commerce sites. I use this to do some basic SEO, some tweaking, and I build a site and uh, upload my file every month, and that's it. So we'll get started here on the, the header and how to change the header. We've already made the header, so I go ahead and pull up the header that I've made, and I made this header right here. Go ahead and pull it up here, and I made this header right here. Okay, so just one second here. There it goes, pulling back up. But uh, I'm gonna look in here. I got the size here. Here's the way you see about your size on your site. Let me pause this and I get the site up here real quick, guys. The, uh, the site we're working on. Okay, we had our site. Here's our site up here, and uh, what you do is you go to the header here, and you right click, and you go to View uh, Image Info. Now uh, this is this is a uh, Firefox, so it does this. So I've got I need a 770 by 140 image right here, okay? So a 770 by 140. So you might want to put that in Notepad so you remember that when you get ready to make it with the X header or however you have to resize it. If you make it Photoshop, uh, make sure you put it in the size right here so it won't break the site too, you know, break it up and stuff. So you need a 77, 770 long by 140 high, okay? And that's what you'll use right here. So I've already pre-made mine right here. Like I said, right here it is. And I'm going to show you how to upload this. It's pretty quick. Uh, I just did some, did some uh, this is more or less a shot of a game here. And uh, so it's not, you can tell these are not real people. So I won't have any problems with uh, trademarks or infringements of images or anything like that. So uh, what it is, I've already logged into my site here. And what you do is you go to appearance. And there's two different, there's a couple ways you can do this. And there's, uh, you can either take that image because I'm going to show you here in uh, editor and on the header you can either take that one image because if you look here in the header file here that header what it actually does is it rotates. If I rest, refresh the page it has five different headers it, it uses so I can either go in here as I'd named this uh, I named this header one as you can see it here it says header one and I can upload this file header one and rename it and then they rename header two okay I can go in here to my site which is here's my site my main root of my site here and I go to WP content and I go to themes I go to cut line because there's the cut line theme I installed and I go to images 
and you'll see header one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what I can do at this point, I can take this header right here, this JPEG, and just say replace it. I can replace it. Okay. So I replace J, uh, header one dot JPEG because the image name here is header one. Let's see if we can see. It. Well, here it's up here at the top here. Uh, header one dot JPEG is what's the name of it. What I can do is I can rename that. What I can do is I can pull it over here. Well, I don't want to show off my whole screen, but I can pull it over here and it says header one there. I can rename it, right click and rename it, call it neighbor head, neighbor, uh, header two, and just re upload it here and, and name header two and header, you know, and go on and on and on. That's one option you have here. I see it should change it already by now. You refresh the page show header one so there's my header changed another option you can have here it says here and name this one here header one it's header one already so I'd name this header header one again and header one put one replace these three with one and one four with one and one or five with one and one or if you know anything about uh, PHP or HTML you come in here and chuck whichever you want out of here okay uh, I'm not saying that's what you need to cut out of here because I'm not the best in the world I usually just what I do too here, guys, this is a good op a good thing here to do is right click here and select all, copy this, put a notepad in case you screw it up. There's really not much going back other than to replace the uh, theme again. And go in here, notepad, paste. That way, in case you screw it up, you can go in here and select all and copy and then go back in here and select all again and delete and then paste and you have your original original stuff back that you didn't lose, okay? So you want to re-upload the theme. Good little tip there, you should uh, always use it. Remember. That's the size I'm using, you know, and I can delete this. I'll delete this now because I don't need it anymore, but I know it's 770 by 140. That's what I needed to do. Uh, like I said, the two options you can do to change that header. I can either go in here, and uh, I go here. I'm going to go here and rename this as one back to back on two now. It'll take a second to do this. Uh, replace number to header two, overwrite. Okay, take a second to, when it gets done here, overwriting. I'll go ahead and rename that file again. Take a two out, put a three in it. I'm doing it on another screen, guys, so you can't see what I'm doing, but I did rename it real quick. Number three, just upload number three. I'll take the three out here and put number four. See, header four. It's going to take a second to do. You've got to make sure you get it all uploaded first. And right click, rename five. Okay. So I uploaded that. I just redid them that way. It's a lot easier for me. It'll take a few seconds. I don't have to worry about coding or anything like that and breaking the code. Uh, right here in the uh, when you go to uh, when you go to your appearance and you go to editor and then you choose your header. Now be careful when you come in here and start editing things like this if you don't know anything about uh, much about HTML or PHP because you could screw your site up pretty bad and it break it and not work. And you have to delete your theme and uh, re-upload the theme again. So uh, there you go. You can do it this way or that way. That's how you change your header, guys, on the cut line theme. Now, keep in mind, uh, different themes work different ways. So, uh, some themes even have the option when you log when you go into your theme, uh, like here it has cut line options, and I think they do. They might see enable cut line. Da da da. It doesn't have an option, but a lot of themes will have an option to change your header and stuff manually. So you can just come in here and say, bloop, upload, bada bada bing, and it tells you what size to do. So. Uh, but this one doesn't you have to manually do it but uh, like I said a lot of themes that you use that you can get nowadays uh, free or uh, if you have to purchase it gives you that option not all of them but uh, some of them do alright guys you changed your header uh, make it look really cool it's starting to look really really cool here well you know we'll tweak it we'll, we'll get our uh, sidebar stuff in here and we'll start installing plugins for long and getting this thing looking really good so okay we'll see you on the next video